In this video, I want to use the online image editing program called Picnic in order to edit a photo and make a thumbnail version of it. So I'm logged into my Picnic account. See, it says Good Morning, RR Phillips. I'm going to go ahead and upload a photo, which is already on my desktop. It takes a second. And there we go. So I have a photo of my car. First thing I want to do is use some of the tools here and rotate the image so that it's upright. So I'll go to the Rotate option under the Edit tab. Rotate it to the left. There we go. And then just click OK over here on the right. Now there's a few other options I can do to make this image a good thumbnail version. This is the full size version. Let me go ahead and choose Crop. And I want to limit my photo just to the car. So I can crop out a person over there. And once I'm satisfied with the area I want to keep, I can click OK. And I can also to choose a resize option. So in addition to cropping out some excess, I will resize. Now part of my goal is to make a thumbnail image. So currently uh, my image is 377 by 337. I'll go ahead and make my new dimensions 120 by 107. And I'll click OK. I can do a few other options too. I can go to the Create tab, and there's lots of various features that I can add to my image. I can make a black and white version of the image. If I don't like that, I'll choose Cancel. choose a boost option. Don't like it? I can choose cancel. There are lots of tools under here that you can apply to a picture to make it look different. Once I felt I'm satisfied with my new thumbnail version, I'll go to save and share and I'm going to give this image a new name. I'll call it Honda1-Thumb and I'll save it as a JPEG image. Of course I can choose the level of compression that I want. The more compression, the lower my quality. The less compression, the higher the quality. This be a bigger file size. I'll go ahead and put it down to a 7 and choose Save. It's going to save to my desktop. And now let's see what the result really is. On my desktop, I have these two files. My original file, my original image, was 52, almost 53 kilobytes. My new thumbnail is under 6 kilobytes. So I can have the thumbnail link over to the big version.